How did you feel when you saw your quarterback playing defense, Owen Young, come up? He had to take the angle and uh, and put a hit on Caden Cantrell, the snowflake quarterback running up the field. Cantrell had a head of steam, and he lowered the boom on your quarterback. Now your quarterback, he toughed it out. He made the tackle, did a great job, but he got a little stinger on that left side with that big hit. When you saw that play coming together and you knew there was going to be a collision, were you getting a little antsy uh, with your quarterback taking that hit? I wasn't. I mean, we played. You look at it for since we've been here. Our quarterbacks, they got to play on defense. I mean, we got to play both ways. We don't have the luxury of, or the depth and the numbers to have kids be able to sit down. And and it is. You got to give him credit. I mean, no one is. He's a tough kid. He's a dirt a bunch coming through his senior year. And I think he's made some great plays even tonight on defense that were huge. That one right there on the fourth down, also on one of the outside plays, he came off and made some some tackles that were nice and. It's just a team effort. I mean, we understand that there's three phases of the game, and our kids believe in all three of them, offense, defense, and special teams, and uh, and they bought in, and, and that's what it took tonight. Well, Coach, speaking of special teams, I thought the first half, the reason you had the lead in what was otherwise a very, very close half play between your two teams, I thought it was because of two special teams plays. One was the punt block that set you up inside the 15-yard line. You scored a touchdown. The other was a punt return that also was coupled with a penalty that gave you field position right around the 25-yard line or just inside the 25-yard line, and you turned that into points. Two of your three touchdowns scored in the first half. Special teams stepped up in that half. Then you got a 46-yard field goal later on in the game from Armando Garcia, the sophomore. I don't know where you guys get these kickers, but every single season you got great kickers. The special teams seem like they're, as always, in great shape at Round Valley. They are. I mean, our kids, we, we preach special teams, and it's huge. I mean, you can see that tonight, that pump block by Javon coming off the edge and, and doing that. I mean, that's a tremendous play. That's a, that's a possession, and we ended up scoring right there. 46-yarder. Uh, I mean, Kevin, I mean, he's this is his, what, fifth football game he's ever been in in his life. I mean, he didn't even know how to really put his helmet and stuff on before. But, <laughs> hey, he's got a great leg. He's, he's, he's passionate about it. He practices. He's, he's willing to work. And you saw tonight he's got, he's got a great leg. It can make those long kicks. I think he had two 43-yarders in our Sholo game that he made. We're huge in that. But uh, he's going to keep getting confidence. We just got to keep him going. He had a little rough go at first, but he bounced back. And uh, special teams, they did a great job of, of just making plays and, and doing what we to help us win. I'm going to ask you the question I asked you other guys, okay? This victory over Snowflake, is it a statement victory? Does it mean anything, say anything? Is there something that the rest of the state should know about Round Valley after a win tonight? Yeah, I mean, our kids just came out to play. I mean, that's the type of kids we have here. And, and uh, who's on the schedule? We know we got to show up and we got to play. And, and Snowflake, they are. They're a good team. And we knew that coming in. And our kids, have, they just played with great heart and execution tonight. And... Uh, it is. I mean, we're trying to earn respect, I and mean, that's how life is. You got to earn respect. I mean, it's not going to be given to you, and our kids know that. And and we're going to keep battling. I mean, we got a few more games left of, ahead of us. We're going to enjoy this and Monday get back to work. And and we know we got some tough competition in the future weeks, and we just got to keep getting better and and getting better and moving forward. Yeah, that was a game on the schedule. Blue Ridge circle that game coming up real soon, and that's going to be a big game uh, uh, that we'll be at uh, at as well, Coach. It was fun to see you guys tonight. Always, the hospitality at the Dome is uh, top-notch. Thank you to Daniel and everybody else, uh, to Wes over there, everybody that helped make our visit to Round Valley so special. And uh, congratulations. We got to, got to watch you guys play a great game, it. get a win. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. We appreciate it. You got it. Yeah. Head coach Marcus Bell right there joining us on our post-game wrap-up. Thank you, coach. 37-29, there's your final. And Round Valley has taken down the Snowflake Lobos in this one tonight. I guess this should be looking right there to say my final say. Uh, folks, thanks for joining us on the Sports Zone Radio Game of the Week presented by Hatch Toyota.